everyone welcome back to chemistry 27 so today i'm gonna tell you the process of reproduction and its type so first of all we just need to know what is reproduction so as you can see on my screen reprodu reproduction is a production of offspring means any one of us like who are living beings whether they are mammal or not they can produce their new ones just same as them there are certain kind of changes but the individual have basic characteristics similar they are there are two main forms of sexual and asexual reproduction in sexual reproduction organism combine the genetic information from each of its parents like in our uh, human beings like in our body system we are just uh, following the process of the sexual reproduction and is genetically unique it's a very special process in asexual reproduction the parent copies itself to form a genetically identical offspring so this is the basic difference first we will go the detail of asexual and sexual reproduction we just need to know few keywords let's take a look on those so sexual reproduction process of creating new individuals using two parent organism where two parents are involved then we call it sexual reproduction asexual reproduction process of creating new individual using one parent organism this is the very basic difference offspring what is offspring new organism that result form reproduction after the reproduction new organism form that is known as offspring gamete sex cells are known as gamete it can be two types in males means in males it is this, this is called sperm and in females it's called eggs okay fertilization the joining of gamete to form new organism when two gametes combine together then they uh, the process is known as fertilization zygote cell form during the fusion of two gametes when fertilization occurred and after the process of fertilization the formation of zygote occurred okay so we'll go through with asexual reproduction first so this asexual reproduction requires one kind of parent and there are many types of asexual reproduction so four major types i am going to describe you here binary fission as you can see single parent cell doubles in its DNA means first DNA get double then divides into two cell and usually this usually occurs in bacteria okay so yeah here you can see our single cell is there and the uh, DNA is like the, the thread like structure is dividing in this in the second uh, structure you can say the second diagram the whole um, thread like structure is like dividing start start dividing and in the third one they divided properly when again in the fourth the division is still going on and the whole outer layer is also the outer body of this organism is also getting divided and in the fifth structure you can see it's divided completely and in the sixth structure it gets separated and both of the uh, a structure both of the organism have different means there are two type of uh, cells are formed means two types of cells mean from the same single cell they divided into two new cells of its own okay so this is asexual reproduction the type of binary fission so next is budding budding is so beautiful <laughs> as you can see in the diagram is a hydra and uh, the one part of a hydra automatically got cut and shut, shut it down okay so small growth on the surface parent breaks off means it breaks off and resulting in the formation of two of two individuals it usually occurs in yeast and some animals like hydra below the, you, you can see the buddings are there and this budding get break off and it will form a new hydra so this process of asexual reproduction is known as budding means budding pop up on the body of a parent okay next is fragmentation organism break into 
or more fragment means fragments formed from the body of the parent and then that develop into a new individuals occurs in many plants as well as some animals like coral sponges and starfish so starfish you can see in this diagram the starfish just break it in one arm and the one arm is getting just converted into a new individual so fragmentation occurs so usually fragmentation is uh, uh, the very common um, process in lizard also the fragmentation when the tail is like break down somehow when we try to kill the lizard then it will come again so fragmentation so there is uh, i just want to clear so don't get confused fragmentation is a process where a part of a individual get breaks off but it also occurs in the form of reproduction okay so when uh, some of the animals some of the organism use this process and they breaks one of their body part and the body part get converts into a new individual and the fourth one is parthenogenesis an embryo develops from an unfertilized cell some of the embryo from the unfertilized cell occurs in especially occurs in invertebrates as well as in some fishes amphibians and reptiles so in your book you will not get this okay if it uh, the, i am just describing the 10 standard ncrt syllabus in the book i think that uh, this topic is not there but in my video it's a little bit of glimpse of this so i will not go in detail so parthenogenesis is the four type of asexual reproduction